so we have made it to Sapporo Station. This will, is where we will be spending the next three days until the start of the snow festival, the first day. We're only going to be there for the first day of the snow festival, but because I'm a big Giga Chad and don't mind it, I'm going to be walking to the hotel because I don't want to pay the 300 yen because I'm a stingy fuck. I'm actually staying locally, very close to uh, the, one of the main plazas where the, uh, where the snow sculpture is going to be. So should hopefully be a fantastic experience. I'm gonna leave a spoiler for tomorrow. I'll be checking out the brewery as well, Sapporo Brewery. I'm really excited for that because I'm a big, I'm a big beer guy. <laughs> and Sapporo is one of the best. Okay, I'll cut to the hotel right now. I just can't stop finding cool stuff. Look, they've already started doing some ice sculptures for the while. I mean, of course they will have had to start doing them, but I didn't realize they were this close. But you see up the tower in the background looking beautiful. It's currently 7.01 p.m. It's minus six degrees as it says on the other side ahead of us. Beautiful trees covered in lights. It feels like Christmas. <laughs> you got the lights off in the distance. This is awesome. It's too much cool stuff. I don't want to spoil the snow festival for myself. So I'm going to wait till the... I don't think I'll be able to wait properly. So I'll st see them being built every day before then. But I'll wait and try my best till Saturday to not spoil anything properly. Let's go. Hello! This is probably going to be the last video I'm making today. I'm currently in the hotel. I just got here now. Sorry, my, 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 my shirt's not down. But it's a pretty nice place. It's the home, Mekasa, for three days. Finally, all the boots off as well. Ah, oh, luckily, we got a little toilet down here. We get a, a decent shower. Very nice. Oh, it's me again. And then we got we a bowl. We got our bed. We got a, we got a heater, I think. Uh, yeah, heater. Coat hangers, bed, television, fridge with nothing in it. And we got a, we got a amazing view outside. I don't know if you can see, but this is how far the window opens. <laughs> this is our amazing view, but you can see the snow. It looks beautiful. And I'm probably oh, going to go grab some food and go to sleep. So, but good morning, beautiful people. Today we are starting the day off right we are going to be heading towards Sapporo Brewery and the Bay Museum, which is going to be one of the highlights of the entire trip, 100%. First things first though, my GoPro is currently on 4% and I'm a dumbass who forgot to bring a USB-C charger, so I had to go buy one. And now we're going to find a coffee shop where I can plug it in. Fingers crossed, we can do that before we head to the brewery. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with this amazing backdrop, I finally have something to show you. We have made it to Sapporo Beer Museum. If you can't read Katakana, it says Sa. Tsu, there's the little poor Sa. Po ro biru. It's amazing. Look at this chimney. Ho, oh, oh. ho. It's beautiful. It's such a traditional building. English people love a good bit of red brick. Yes, we do. We do indeed. And it's awesome. Look how tall it is. We're going to go inside. The tour is free. You can get the premium tour, which you've got to pay for, or you can get the free tour. I'm a classy guy, so I'm going to get the free tour. <laughs> uh, and then I think you can pay, for, which I'm going to do, you can pay for a little beer tasting at the end. Because beer, you know, I'm paying for something cool, I get the beer. And then free tour, hopefully you speak English, because that would be pretty good, because I'm not. Okay, so you have both tours, we're going to the free floor, so you get to get stuff to it. Okay, well this fucking sucks. Guess it's gonna have to be a slideshow then instead. Because we have to respect the rules of Japan. We don't want to do a Logan Paul. So there will be a slideshow of all the cool pictures I take and a nice little voiceover by me. So, hell yeah, let's go. This is Japan's only museum dedicated to beer, which explores the long and rich history of Sapporo beer. The museum is the original brewery building that was in service between 1876 and 1965. Sapporo is the oldest brand of beer in Japan, and the legend of the beer began with the adventurous spirit of Seibei Nakagawa. Fueled by an adventurous spirit, Seibei Nakagawa left Japan at the age of 17, at a time when doing so was strictly forbidden. His travels eventually led him to Germany, where he learned the craft of brewing, 
a craft he would later apply back home in 1876 as Sapporo's first brewmaster. The enormous size of this keg right here that was actually used in the brewing process highlights just how the Japanese beer industry is no joke. In fact, the museum displays include a number of beer brewing instruments that were really used to make beer in Japan before World War II. So I highly recommend checking out this place if you ever get the chance. Okay, I'm pretty certain I'm allowed to film now because we're out of the museum part. I hope you enjoyed the voiceover. I tried to be as informative as possible, take pictures of all the information. We're in the tasting hall. It costs 800 yen for the entire tasting set or 300 yen per type of beer, which is, eh, it's all right price, I guess. Oh, they have it here. Yeah, tasting set 800, 300 for each type. I hope it's a pint. No, 240 mils actual size. That's pretty shit price then. 350 yen for a Kaitakushi beer. Or a regular black label for 300. That's kind of pricey, kind of pricey. They should get a full count for that price. Rather than 250 mils, so I'll see you when we get the, when, when, when we get the drinks. This place is awesome. The beer garden where you're allowed to, well not the garden, the beer place where you're allowed to eat, drink the stuff. They even have beer uh, chandeliers. It's awesome. We're getting the, we're getting the drinks now though. The beer set. Let's go. Finally got the beer set. Let's go. I tried them all in order. Black flavor, the one that I always drink, the classic. Just a solid beer all around. Very nice taste. Very nice taste indeed. Classic. Definitely a lot maltier. Definitely a lot maltier. It said 100% malt. Uh, I think I prefer the original one versus the, no, not the original, the black, the, the, the black label. It has a bit more of a, a me vibe to it. I'm not saying that the classic isn't good, but it's still a very good beer. But what I'm most excited for, the one I've never tasted, tasted for, is the Kaitakushi beer, which is this one. The original recipe of Kaitakushi Brewery, the amber colour. The amber colour is amazing. favorite one you know never tried that before so it might be a recency bias but that one does that, that that's a bit of me right there if you're ever if you're ever in Sapporo ever come to the beer at the brewery definitely go for the Kitakushi beer or the entire set as a whole 100% okay so the tasting set was amazing and I was gonna get another one because I'm an alcoholic a filthy alcoholic but the queue is way too fucking long and I do not want to wait in that even though I am an alcoholic, every English man's an alcoholic. We have to be, we have to be, it's in our blood. But now we're, oh, they have golden camoy. More golden camoy and a gift shop. Okay, and check out the gift shop as well. Okay, I was gonna film the gift shop as well, but it was kind of ass, just overpriced t-shirts and shit snacks. So, out we come. Back out into the real world, where there's no beer demons and just massive snow-covered trees. <sighs> Do we dare check out the beer garden? Is it a good idea? Let me loosen a beer garden, on my own, unattended to. Re responsible, for once. <laughs> hmm. Potentially. Potentially. I might go have a gander, see if he's like, Maybe one or two more beers. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So check the prices out, whether it's worth buying at a Mini instead. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's definitely an awesome place to check out. Very unique. I've, never, I've only ever been to... No, I've actually never been to a brewery before. I was going to say, I, th I thought I had, but I've never been to a brewery before. Uh, and it was great to have a little tour on the inside. The premium tour would have probably been better. You probably would have got to see more of the behind the scenes stuff. I assume I almost slipped there. Fucking ice. Hate it. But uh, this was this was just a nice little quick museum tour visit. 
Awesome. Uh, I'll see if the beer garden's worth it or not. Okay, I was gonna get something to drink. I was like guaranteed, but for a large beer, 1350 yen. That's around, it's uh, 1000 milliliters, but that is around just about two pints for for six pound, seven, it's about eight, eight pound, eight, eight quid for two pints is kind of, kind of pricey, you know, that's like university prices kind of, ah, university's not too bad actually, but we'll have a gander around the beer garden. Or well, the bears there on the logo. All seats booked up now. Please book your seat at our reception before waiting. Fuck it, we're not gonna go inside. I'm gonna skip for now. You can always buy beer at the comedy. It's just gonna be a beer garden. It's gonna be a cold, a cold beer garden as well. I'm used to the nice warm ones in England during the winter. So I'll just be sat outside freezing holding a cold pint. That's not, that's not, that's not my idea of fun. Okay, we made it to Hokkaido Shrine Tongu. Look at these beautiful Komainu again. Bow before going in. Don't walk in the center. Mouth open, mouth closed. Uh, symbols the start and the beginning of the universe. They have currently covered up the um, because of the snow, obviously. The, the, the purification area where you normally have water coming out of the dragon's mouth and you wash your hands. To purify yourself. But they've currently not got that because of the snow and ice. But as long as you do everything else, you're fine. It's a very small shrine, but it still doesn't take away from how beautiful it is. Oh, these are such cool kamano with the, the tails out. Again, this one, mouth open, mouth closed. You, you, they usually have genders as well, so I'm assuming this one's the female one. That one's the male one. The female one usually has the mouth open, and the male one usually has the mouth closed. I think that's to symbolize the woman giving birth and starting life, I think. I'm pretty certain, and the male ending the life <laughs> but it's a very nice shrine i don't know which uh which kami which god it's dedicated to uh, i'll put that on the screen now maybe know a few facts around it the tongu shrine is an auxiliary shrine of the sapporo shrine which was first erected in maruyama in meiji 1871. it was constructed for the convenience of its patrons who would have had difficulty visiting the sapporo shrine during the winter when the snow was way too deep as you'll see in a few minutes. It was said that by April of Meiji 1882, only 11 years later, the shrine was revered by 800 households, the entire city of Sapporo. At Tongu, there is a symbol called the Komainu, which is the guardian dogs I just showed you, of love and fulfillment. People come from all over Japan to visit the shrine, believing that these Komainu will bring them good luck and eternal happiness, which is why there are a lot of weddings actually held at this shrine. The wedding ceremonies here are held in an old fashioned and traditional style, it will remain in your heart forever as a memory worthy of celebrating the beginning of your life. Okay, so we are going to the Hokkaido Jingu now, finally. It is off in that direction by the trees, right by the KFC, so give a salute to the Colonel. I've, had, I've not had KFC a single time whilst I've been here so far. In over five months, in over five months, still not eating a single piece of the Colonel's Kentucky Fried Chicken. Even on Christmas, when it's a tradition to do so. But we're gonna head into those trees and we might get that on the way back, depending, depending on how I'm feeling. And we'll get some crab tonight because king crab is the main thing you're meant to eat when you're in Hokkaido. Okay, so here we have Marayama Park, one of the places I wanted to come to most. It's actually so beautiful. I've never been in a park. I have been in a park this snowy before. It has snowed this much in England, definitely. Definitely at least sometime I've been alive. But this is actually so beautiful. I'm gonna get up all the way up there though to get to the Jingu. <sighs> it's gonna be a long expedition, but it will be worth it 100% in the end. It's only, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, it's closing in like 20 minutes, so we're gonna be hella fast. Like hella, hella fast. Pray out there straight away. Let's go, baby, we made it in time. I hope I don't have to pay the entrance fee, but if I do, I will pay it. I've still got 15 minutes left to chill in this beautiful place. Oh, oh you can actually wash your hands here. The water's somehow not frozen. Oh my god, that's amazing. It might be warm, you never know. They might have special warm water this place. There's so many crows as well. Itachi, Itachi, is that you? Oh, damn, this is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands and purify myself. Be back in a minute. Oh, 
We made it to the top, there's a little fair down there as well. As I'm going through this place, I'm sure I'll put some soothing music on in the background and give a nice war uh, a nice voiceover for all the history. Oh my ho oh, oh, oh. It's a long icicle. I give a nice uh, talk about all the history of this place. Oh. In 1871, the government abolished the feudal system, replacing it with a prefectural system and taking control of the land. By the imperial decree of Emperor Meiji, three gods were selected to watch over the reclamation of Hokkaido. These gods were Okunitama, Onamuchi, and Sukunahikona, who were enshrined in a place called Sapporo Jinja, which later became known as Hokkaido Jingu Shrine. Now, you may be wondering who the fourth god enshrined here was. Well, that was Emperor Meiji himself. Sadly, the shrine burned down in 1974. However, it was restored in 1978. Look how beautiful that is looking tonight with the moon in the background as well. Absolutely gorgeous. 5.30 p.m. it is. Everything closes in Japan super, super early usually, especially since it's the snow festival tomorrow. So we're going to head to the government office, which is meant to be very beautiful as well. It's meant to be closed now, but we can still see it from the outside. You can see over there, there's a few snow sculptures on the other side. Don't want to spoil too much for tomorrow, but it is very, very pretty. Very, very pretty here. Holy cow. Okay. So I'm going to say one of the last cool things I want to show off today. Look at this amazing ice sculpture. I want to see some more amazing ones tomorrow. And the house behind it, glow, glowing beautifully. They were firing some bubbles out before. One of the many cool things you see around Sapporo. Oh. Actually so beautiful. It's a really, really nice city. I'm so glad I finally was able to come here. One of the things on my bucket list ticked off. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Basically, Sapporo's version of the Shibuya Crossing. No, sorry, of, of, of Tokyo's Shibuya Crossing. Uh, it is awesome because of all the different beers. Uh, my favourite one is down here. We've got the Kirin one at the top up there. But once we get around the corner, I'll be able to show you the, the, the best one, the Nika one, as well. Of course, you've got the classic Coca Cola up there. It has to be. It has to be. And then these are McDonald's on the corner. It always has to be in somewhere like this. But well, this is probably where we're going to end the video in my favourite place uh, in Sapporo so far. This is my favourite location. Just behind how cool it looks at night. In the day, kind of mid, but at night time, pops so beautifully. And we're ending up on the corner. We're ending up on the corner. Three. Oh, it's over there. My guy, the Nika. And there's Ebi up there. No, sorry, Kirin, I'm being stupid. But anyway, guys, as I do cross this crossing, make sure to like and subscribe more. We will be back tomorrow for the snow festival, so stay tuned. Bye, have a great time.